Hey New Hope, it's Pastor Anna. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about rest. We live in a day and age where it's busy, 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 go, go, go all the time. And yes, some of that has slowed down since the pandemic, but I believe that once the pandemic passes us by, we'll be right back into the full swing of things. Busy, go, get it done. There's so much to do. And the Lord knows us so well um, that he gives us a commandment to rest. This commandment goes all the way back to the Israelites in the book of Exodus because apparently they didn't know how to rest either. In Exodus 23, 12, it says, Six days you shall do your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest and keep the Sabbath. And then in Exodus 34, 21, it says, Even in plowing time and in harvest you shall rest. The Israelites were busy too. Um, and the Lord saw that just like he sees our, da our daily lives now. He says, Six days, do what you need to do. Do the work I've given you. Do, do what you need to get it done. And then on the seventh day, rest. Keep the Sabbath. And then even in plowing time and in harvest, you shall rest. For the Israelites, those were the most busy times of the year. That depended all on their food system. They needed the plowing time and the harvest time for survival. They're busy as busy times. And the Lord said, even in those crazy busy seasons, you still need to take time to rest. You need to rest. Your neighbor needs to rest. Your donkey needs to rest. Everybody needs to take a break. And we need to take a break in our own life. One day a week, God commands us to put aside our work and rest, to spend time to care for ourselves, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We dedicate that day back to the Lord. Out of all the seven he has given us, we take one day and we dedicate it back to the Lord, and we spend time worshiping with him worshiping him, being with him. We spend time taking care of our physical bodies through rest, through relaxation. We uh, quiet our mind, our thoughts, our emotions, and we take time to fill back our, fill up our spiritual tank. When we rest ourselves and we focus on having that relationship with the Lord, Everything comes back to center. When we go, 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 are busy, and we don't take time to rest, things can get out of sorts. Our emotions, our thoughts, our physical health, um, and our spiritual life can all, all take a detour. It doesn't function like it should. The Lord knew that we needed to intentionally set time aside to rest, to be healthy, to have a good spiritual life, to be in good relationship with God. So he tells us, he gives us a command to rest. And when we obey that command, we're showing love for God. We're showing, um, it's an act of worship. It's an act of thankfulness, saying, thank you, God, for what you've given me. I'm worshiping you in following your command. And it can, be, it can be difficult to take time to rest, and it looks different for all of us. Maybe it's a morning, maybe it's an afternoon, but it's the intentionality behind it. Intentionally obeying his command. And it's not like rest is bad for us. In fact, it's very good for pretty much everything in our life. Take time to rest. Take time out of your week, maybe an hour or two if that's all you have. Maybe a day if you have that, but take time to rest. Your body needs it, your mind needs it, your emotions, and your spiritual life needs it. Take time to be grounded and centered with the Lord. We all need rest, each and every one of us. Obey God's command. Let me pray for you. God, thank you for each and every person watching this video. Lord, we just thank you for all the good gifts you've given us for the lives you've given us, for the work that we can do. Lord, I pray that we each find time to be intentional with the time you've given us, that we find time to rest, that we find time to connect with you, God. 
Lord, bless every single person. Bless their life. Lord, keep them safe. Keep them healthy. We love you, God. You're an amazing, awesome God. In your name I pray. Amen.